More than two weeks after a failed coup, the security cordon around Freetown is still in place. The government here says it's looking for more suspects, as 80 have been rounded up and are being questioned. Among them, former President Enes Bai Koroma. It was a coordinated, planned and financed attack against the democracy that we enjoy in this country. But Koroma's lawyers dismissed the government delegations. He's holding his ground on his innocence and he believes that moving forward there are issues that has to be addressed. And uh, concerning evidence, we have not seen anything touching him as yet. And um, so we're waiting. Koroma's daughter is also accused of involvement in the coup attempt. West African leaders are desperate to check the region's coup epidemic. The decision to send a security mission to Sierra Leone is an attempt to stop the slide towards military rule in ECOWAS member states. Political analysts blame the spate of coups in West Africa on lack of good governance and corruption. This has captured the attention of ECOWAS chairman and Nigeria's president at the recent summit. Let me also underscore the need for us as leaders to prioritize good governance for our people as it serves as a catalyst for socio-economic transformation and development. Two weeks after the coup attempt, the situation in Sierra Leone remains tense. For a country yet to fully recover from a devastating civil war and the Ebola epidemic, residents hope the country will avoid a descent into chaos. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera.